today we are going to talk about cold prolapse definition whenever umbilical cord takes place in the lower segment of uterus is called cord prolapse the causes of cord prolapse are prematurity mean pregnancy time is less than 34 weeks malpresentation example as transverse lie bro face and breech presentation occipital posterior position pelvic tumor placenta previa cephalo pelvic disproportion cord prolapse can be seen in polyhydramnios premature rupture of membrane or prom multiple pregnancy and before engagement of presenting parts types of cord prolapse there are three types of cord prolapse overt umbilical cord prolapse funic umbilical cord prolapse and occult umbilical cord prolapse the first one is overt umbilical cord prolapse when cord is out from vaginal canal and can be seen by eyes and membrane rupture is also there funic umbilical cord prolapse when umbilical cord locates under presenting part there is no rupture of membrane it can diagnose by per vaginal examination in which cord is felt like circular or ring by fingers third one is occult umbilical cord prolapse when umbilical cord descends with presenting part but doesn't reach to presenting parts mean presenting part never let it to come before it can diagnose by per vaginal exam diagnosis is by fetal heart sound which is bradycardia and variable deceleration in this case membrane can become intact or may rupture complications of cord prolapse maternal complications as cesarean section is needed in this case so complication of anesthesia bleeding surgical complication is there if vaginal delivery takes place then there are complications that uterus vagina perineum may lacerate fetal complications hypoxia due to cord compression in between presenting parts cervix vagina if hypoxia elongates brain damage and death can occur in over cord prolapse the cord is in contact with free air which causes vasoconstriction and then hypoxia takes place treatment first we do ultrasonography each type has specific treatment treatment of overt cord prolapse first we do per vaginal exam to know about cervical dilatation and effacement location of presenting part and pulse rate of cord if fetus is able to stay alive and pregnancy time is greater than 24 weeks with normal heart rate we give knee chest position to mother then give pressure to presenting parts until pressure or cord removes we do this procedure until mother is ready for cesarean section we do cesarean section when there isn't full dilated cervix if cervix is full dilated we do vaginal delivery 
treatment of occult umbilical cord prolapse. First, we do pervaginal exam to declare this is not funic or overt prolapse. Then, we check fetal heart movement for bradycardia and variable deceleration. We give semi-lateral position to mother with hip elevated to remove pressure from cold. If fetal heart movement becomes normal, we let it to spontaneous delivery. Oxygen therapy to mother. Check constantly fetal heart movement. If fetus is in bad condition, situation or condition, do caesarean section. Treatment of funic cord prolapse. In this case, we do caesarean section. If child is premature, we give rest to mother with semi-literal position with hip up and do ultrasonography for position and age of fetus.